Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled this parametric bench family, and today I'm going to show you how to use a schedule to um, how to get a schedule of all these uh, individual panels, the size, the width, the height, the number of these panels, in case you want to uh, build one of these. Okay, so let's start. So first. Um, um, it needs to be so for each individual panel they need to be shared so in this family so each one so if I edit this family so you will see this panel individual panel is shared so this will allow us to um, to to get, to get the information of this panel into a, a schedule okay so 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 this panel is a generic model so if I go to view schedule and create a generic model uh, schedule and let's say oh hang on let me just uh, show you so if tab select this panel so these two panels the oh sorry these two parameter are uh, the one we uh, need for the schedule so L1 which is the width of this panel L2 is the height of the panel so see the one in the middle is for uh, 450 by 200 and on the side that's 450 by 450 okay so so go to uh, go to Let's create a schedule. So generic model schedule and OK. So so you will see um, there's no L1 or L2 in this list. Uh, it's because the L1 and the L2 are just a family parameter. They are not shared parameter. So for now, I'm just going to just uh, add the family and type, which is the name of the family and the, the name of the, the type. So in here and OK, so you will see in this schedule, there's already this in this family, so which is this whole family, this one, and also this one, and also the family seven, which is one of the panels of family seven. <laughs> okay, so now what we need to do is we just need to uh, swap the L1 and L2 to some shared parameter so they can be uh, put into this schedule okay so let's go back tab select one of the panel and edit family so now what we need to do is go to modify family types so l1 so let's click on l1 and see this is a family parameter so now let's change it to shared parameter and click on select so here actually you can see I already have a group here so I already have a share parameter um, file set up so actually what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just cancel this so in case you don't have any share parameter set up so you just need to go to manage share parameter and then let me just ignore all these Okay, I'll just create a new. So, um, when, if if you're doing this first time, so you just need to go create a new shared parameter text. It's a txt file. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to call it a new today state um, 21 21st of June. Okay, so and save just save on uh, your hard drive anywhere desktop and then so you will see it's an empty file so what you need to do first is cre create a group so you can just name it um, whatever you like so I'll maybe call this for or for my families so this this is a group for a uh, parameter group for families and then in under this group, you can create a new parameter. So I'll call it um, panel panel width, 
and OK. So another one, panel height. OK, so now click on OK, and then go back to family types. Click on L1, edit parameter, and so see this family parameter, we just need to check on shared parameter, and then select. So for L1, because, um, because we know that that's the panel width, so just pick this panel width, and OK. So you don't need to do any change of this, just click on OK. And then go back to L2, which is the height of the panel. So edit parameter, share parameter, select height, panel height, OK, and OK. And now click on OK and go back to the schedule. So click on the fields and you should be able to find those two parameter here. Uh, where are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to load this load this family into that project. So we need to load this into the project. Okay. And oh, good. Now go to the schedule and click on edit. So now they are here pa uh, panel height and the panel width so let's just add width height and if you click ok you will see all the number of all the uh, dimension of the panels the width the height it's all here and we also have this uh, this is just the whole family so we can just if we don't want to see this you can just filter it out so just you can use this panel with panel with exists so okay and then if you want to count the panel so you can do um, grand total and uh, I think use this one count count and total and okay so you will see we have 21 panels here and also I'm going to add another so uh, I want to calculate the square meter of each panel or maybe just in uh, the overall square meter so what we can do is we can just add a um, calculated parameter so for the name I'll just name it um, panel panel um, I'm not sure area maybe and um, formula which is okay number just we need we need to change the number to area so this is very important always make sure you use the correct uh, type of parameter okay so formula so we can click on this one so this will allow you to select the parameter so you can use in a panel width so times panel height okay and okay and okay so um, you will see all the zero um, don't worry it's 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 because these panels are too small so it's smaller than 0 0.5 square meter so that's why you'll see all these zeros so what you need to do is go to formatting click on the, this parameter and then click on the field format okay so uncheck this pro uh, use use project setting square meters that's fine uh, just change this to three three decimal uh, spaces and okay and okay so now you will see these are the square meter of each panel so okay they are quite small and also uh, if I go back to edit go back to formatting click on this panel so see here you can use you can change this from no calculation to calculate totals and I click on OK it will tell you the overall all um, square meter of all these panels okay so and maybe I'll just hide let's you can hide this so panel 
panel width, panel height, panel uh, square meters overall. Okay, so let's go back to this 3D view and our WT so we can show this. Uh, show this so see if you click on this it also tells you um, which panel uh, yeah. see it tells you which panel uh, you looking at so and also um, of course if you edit this size so for example I'll change it this to 600 Depths, which means the uh, the width of the panel will become 600 altogether, and then change all the square meters. And if, if I change the height, and you will also see um, the change of this all the height, and also the square meter as well. If you change the overall width of this bench, so for example, if I reduce the size, make it 600, and then because our setting is um, fixed um, spacing, so which means we will have less, so now only 11 panels. And if you make it longer, of course you will have uh, more panels. Okay, so at least if you want to, um, for example, want to uh, build this bench and you can you can create this schedule and then you can go to your uh, uh, bunnings to buy your boards okay so that's it um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time